Well, hello, dear travelers! Welcome to episode 17 of my series, where I play Genshin Impact with only the first 8 characters I pull on the standard banner. Last time we were raising Goro, he is built as my shielder, and now he is as leveled up as the others. And we also completed a part of Aranyaka, which is, if you didn't know, my favorite questline in the game. Even the celebration for reaching AR60 on my main was Aranara themed. I'm very normal about them, though. Anyways, it's been a while since the last episode came out, and I unfortunately don't have a lot of time to sit down and edit, but I still want to release what I have, so... This episode's gonna be a little more packed and fast-paced, and I'm gonna summarize more of what I did. This was the time in my challenge when 4.1 came out, so we got the usual apologems. This is also when Monsieur Nouvellet had his first banner, which I definitely didn't end up pulling on by impulse because I saw how hot his legs are in his trial. Um, anyways, since I felt that my team was finally strong enough to continue the abyss, I tried to get 12 stars to progress the new battle pass. For some reason, my internet was having a tantrum today, so I kept getting disconnected. Quality gameplay experience. What if I played the pipe falling sound every time I get disconnected? Wouldn't that be funny? My main team, of course, absolutely decimated Floor 2, and I want to say the same for Floor 3, but... Well, you see, this floor wants me to use crowd control, but I'm using an overload team and, uh... It's not going too well. I can't accept not getting 3 stars on this chamber. Ah. Ah. Yeah, this is great. I'm not going insane. Ah. I love it when two of my team members are pyro when the chamber is full of pyro slimes. Anyways, I eventually brute forced it. The next chamber was way easier because it only had treasure hoarders. Then I did the requests and bought some overpriced flaming flower stamens from Boo Boo Pharmacy. Then I kept getting bounties that were immune to pyro or electro. But I eventually got my hands on the condensed resin blueprint, thank goodness. Then I tried to forge. Great and cook. Ah, just how I like it. Overcooked. After I was done with the battle pass, I wanted to get some hydro sigils for the Fountain of Lucene. So I decided to explore the area in Fontaine that just got released in 4.1. It was my first time entering this place and I found some great things out here. Like a table. Um, I mean, like the hot Fatui operatives. I just... I just want to look at you, please don't attack me. I also found this puzzle that really didn't want to let me solve it. So I decided to try mining with the overloaded reaction and even failed that. Then it took me unnecessarily long to figure out this puzzle. And then I logged myself in, yay! Dory is in jail for tax evasion and distributing illegal merchandise. This is such a Bennett moment, though. Then I checked out what the new underwater area looked like. Ooh, yay, new ability, what does this do? Great, we have bombs now. I was super smart and quickly solved this difficult puzzle. Then I entered the tunnel that looked like it was leading me to a boss arena and ended up in the fortress of Meropede instead. What the hell have I stumbled upon? Whoa, what am I looking at? Unfinished comedy. Yeah, I'm not doing that right now. Wait, how do I leave? Oh, it's a prison, that's the point. You can't. Anyways, I broke out by teleporting and kept exploring because, if you didn't know, this is my favorite thing to do in this game. I'm an exploration enthusiast. And when I was done, I dumped all my sigils into the fountain. Yay, we got the wishes I wanted. Let's spend them. I'm on zero pity, so I'm not expecting much. I'm gonna wish with the last character I pulled. As if he was welcoming the new teammate. If they came home. 
Aw, oh, dang it. At least I can buy this. Oh, we also got a pet for the anniversary. It looks so silly. And since I was getting close to ascending my world and leveling up my characters, I went to farm some materials. It turns out there are specters on Seirai, so I took a visit there. Such a welcoming scenery. Thank you, Kanna Kapatsir. Ah, found them. Great. Now I need Eramites. And some slimes. Ooh, this patch of flowers fits Dory and the new pet. Also, I'm sort of getting better at doing charge shots. Look at this one. I'm just generally taking my time to practice my aim nowadays. The parametric transformer gave me some good stuff. We also got Frema gems. Ah, oh god. Here's the Nouvellet trial that changed my life. I got a little unhinged here. So if you want me to release that video of me losing my mind over his legs, just ask. Oh yeah, we also got this encounter point system with the update, so I don't have to do dailies anymore. Thank you. Then I did the jellyfish event, where I had to collect a bunch of them underwater. Whee! <laughs> I don't know why I enjoy these so much. I met these two seahorses duking it out. And catch the perfect moment. I also found a really cool seagull standing on top of this pole. Nice, I got the jellyfish tank, I love it. And another blue wish! Oh, and I almost forgot about this very important gadget. Fabulous! You can even pop the bubbles if you run into them. Best gadget ever, thank you Hoyo! Also, I accidentally started another episode of Aranyaka as I was filming for an earlier episode. Sorry guys, not now. We have an event to do. Ooh, these fish have helmets, they have come prepared for a fight. I only had trouble with this stage and I figured out a solution as I was editing and now I'm salty about it. <laughs> the storybook cover is adorable. More primos, yay! Event complete. Now, if you remember, this was the patch with the poetry event as well. Which I felt like was too long to cover in detail, but I will still point out the most important stuff. Like the main character being named Killer Ho. Some really cute Mika and Noel interactions. You should be considered a hero too, Noel. Oh, remember that time when a giant boulder was blocking the road? You cut it in two with a single blow. Oh, please don't praise me like that. Uh, uh, uh. This trial where I couldn't avoid using other characters to fight. I wanted to drown the enemies, but they kept losing their aggro. And I don't even know if you can drown hydro slimes at all. We also had hyperactive Chongyun. I totally understand now why Shingcho keeps feeding him spicy food. We got actual Chongyun and Dio in the lore too. I sense no trace of the demonic in her. Although there are traces of something else. Something rather special. So you're the Spring Fairy of Springvale? Yes, Diona. And I remember you too, you know. When you were little, you often came to the spring at night to speak with me. Excuse me, what is going on here? What's this? You two having a private chat? I'm in a traveler and show shipping competition and my opponent is Hoyovers. And my heart to you, praying my belated promise might meet still with your trust. And the ending cutscene still makes me cry. <sighs> I hope you didn't mind me skipping most of the scenes. I could make a separate video about it if you're interested though. I'm thinking about starting a new little series of shorter videos where I react to quests and events. 
so they won't take up time from the challenge itself, but I don't want to just throw those recordings away. So tell me if you want to see shit posts or reactions about these quests. Anyways, after being done with the quest, I played the minigames. Unfortunately, my team wasn't strong enough to brute force one chamber without buffs and get all rewards. If I had the right elements, I think I could have done it, but with the team I had, I would have needed better artifacts and weapons for sure. Even after trying to optimize their builds with the little I had, I couldn't get max points. It's fine though, I only needed the Mondstadt weapon materials. We also had this not too remarkable minigame that took way too long to complete. I am losing my mind actually. But in exchange, we had art conservation mentioned, which made me really happy. Thank you game for acknowledging and speaking up for this profession. All in all, I got the crown I wanted. And this weapon I can't use because I don't have any catalyst characters. And my friendship with Shangling reached level 4, she's warming up to us like a pot of stew. Okay, we were done with multiple events and farmed lots of Primo gems, because in the next half of 4.1 both Dory and Toma were coming to the banner, and I wanted to get as many copies of them as possible. So stay tuned for the next episode because we are finally wishing for constellations for the first time. And subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Anyways, this is it for this video, I hope you liked it. Sorry for keeping it so short, I just wanted to release it as soon as possible. Now have a lovely day, drink some water, stay safe, and see you next time. Bye bye!